Hello, my name is Dr. Frederick B. Covington and I'm an occupational therapist. Today, we'll be discussing proprioception. Now, proprioception comes from the Latin proprius, which means one's own or individual. Now, proprioception is defined as the unconscious perception of movement and spatial orientation arising from the stimuli within the body. These stimuli are detected by nerves within the body as well as by the semicircular canals of the inner ear. The spinal cerebellar tract is a set of axonal fibers originating in the spinal cord and terminating in the ipsilateral cerebellum. Now, this tract conveys information to the cerebellum, which is largely responsible for coordinating the unconscious aspects of proprioception. Now, let's simplify all that. Proprioception is the body's ability to sense where it is relative to other object, objects, and this is vital for stability and balance. For instance, it describes the ability to sense the orientation of your arms in the air. The way we can tell that our arms are raised above our head, even when our eyes are closed, for example, is a good example of proprioception. Now, without proprioception when you're driving, you wouldn't be able to keep your eyes on the road because you would have to pay attention to the position of your arms and legs while driving and steering the wheel. If you happen to be snacking while watching this video, you wouldn't be able to put food into your mouth without taking breaks to judge the position and orientation of your hands relative to the food and your mouth. Now, let's take a real world example. Here we go. Every morning when Tony awakes, she has breakfast and she gets dressed. Her father complains that she takes a very long time to get ready. He strongly believes that she dresses too slowly. Now. When observing Tony putting on her shirt, we find that her vision is occluded. When the shirt passes over her head, it's at this point that the slowness of dressing is observed. Since she has deficits in her proprioceptive abilities, when she is unable to see her arms and hands as well as the holes in the shirt, she has great difficulty manipulating both her body and the shirt to fit correctly. Now there's multiple symptoms that may indicate a problem. Uh, the person could have difficulty dressing, uh, when they're not able to see their hands or arms, this can become a challenge. A person may appear clumsy or awkward. A person may present with stiff and uncoordinated movements. One may avoid sports activities. Uh, you may notice that the person hangs on others a lot. A person may hurt themselves or others. Or may even chew on non-food items such as straws. Now, as always, if you have any questions or comments, please feel free to send your emails or leave your comments here, and we'll be seeing you next time. Take care.